All right, guys, I've got a fairly exciting video for you if you're into bicycles. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I did that video about my fixed gear bike and how my hope was to eventually find a better frame for it. I found that frame. Check this out, Surly Steamroller. So this is a dedicated fixed gear frame. I mean, you've got no derailleur hanger. Uh, we've got like track forks or track ends on there. It does have a uh, brake, like a bridge right here and then up in the crown of the fork. Um, but really not much. It's kind of closer to track bike geometry, but not totally. Very lively, but still somewhat stable and somewhat predictable. And then we've got the one water bottle cage on there. Uh, really nice. So this thing the gentleman used uh, for commuting for two years, and it's actually in really good shape. Uh, the only little scuffs, there's one right there, and then one on the other side here. But uh, this color that Surly had was called metallic lilac. <laughs> I personally really like it. I don't know why I've ended up with like purple bicycles, but this is going to go great beside purple nurple. And I uh, got the nice uh, Chris King, um, the headset here. And the gentleman that I bought this off of, a real bike aficionado, bike nut, and he always had this thing where he always put his headset on upside down. Uh, it doesn't affect the performance at all because they're symmetrical, but he had asked, you know, do you, want, do you want me to flip it the other way around before I bring it to you? And I said, no, actually, I, I kind of like that. That's your history of this bike. It'll, you know, people look at it and be like, man, that guy installed them wrong, but it was done intentionally. And uh, it's a, this is a beautiful bike. Really, really excited about this. Nice details on it. And the gentleman that I got it off of, he actually lived in Edmonton, which is just over three hours from here. So he brought it down. Uh, we met up and truth be told, I've known about this bike for like, six weeks we've been kind of working on this deal even when i talked about hopefully finding a frame i knew this bike and, and in theory he was he was going to see if he could come down sometime and bring it to me but i didn't really have my hopes up because i mean you know obviously i don't expect anybody to hold something on local classifieds for me but it's actually worked out what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and take my other fixie start pulling some of the parts off of it and migrating them over to here all right let's go see what we can find Okay, so I think the first thing, see, Purple Nurple's got a friend. The first thing we'll do is we'll take this inside, let it warm up a little bit. No sense working on a cold bicycle. This is a pretty dope bike though. I think we're gonna put this, my old B17 with the copper rivets. And then, I believe this is a 27.2. Oh yeah, 27.2. Now, let's see. I think the one thing I'm not sure exactly of what I'm gonna use is brakes. Hmm. I'm not sure what's in this bin, but we'll check it out. bottom bracket. I'm just going to put a little bit of grease. Not a whole lot, just a little bit in the threads of the bottom bracket here. Both sides. I like that. Okay. 
Okay. putting this on the other side. I think actually we're probably going to, but we'll have to see what our chain line looks like first. So we'll just leave this. So if I need to, I can actually move this chain ring to the outside, give myself a little bit more room there. But we'll see how it lines up first, but we're pretty close right here. Fatties fit fine, so we should have plenty of clearance for these tires. Got a new chain, hopefully this is long enough. Uh, actually that is good. I think we've got a pretty good chain line right there, but we'll put the chain on later. Might as well throw the front tire on. All right, let's turn a little attention to the seat post. <clears throat> We're not gonna get too carried away, but I do wanna kind of clean it up a little bit. I think that headset's gonna be the nicest thing on this bike. <laughs> You know what, there's a lot of grit in here. Let's clean this up real quick. We have the technology for this. I don't know why you would ever let something get this dirty. This link. Okay. Think it should be out now. Now we'll get this little connector link. It's actually a pretty low quality chain. There, you see that? You want this little tail part to be away so you want this thing traveling like this so if anything hits it it's not going to pop it off so you just basically you got your connector link here like that you put your plate on there's two little grooves in here that this slides into i usually just do this get the old leather man out I'm trying to do this so you can see see what i'm doing I'll just pop this on like that done chain is connected now I actually found out the brakes I have are not going to work. Uh, I don't have the right type of thing to sit on there. And then also the back, this takes those recessed nuts, uh, which I don't have brakes that are compatible. So for now, we're going to leave brakes off of this. And essentially we're kind of ready to put the handlebars on. I'm going to do that off the stand so that the forks don't fall out. And then we can kind of tweak the uh, saddle height and stuff like that. I gotta wash my hands, they're gross. Well, this feels uh, a little bit small, <laughs> but it's not actually, oh boy. It's actually surprisingly small feeling, and I think that's because there's so much bottom bracket drop. Uh, see, like the chain stay goes like that. This bike feels much smaller than the other one, but it is indeed. When I measured from the center of the bottom bracket to the top tube, it was 62 centimeters, so it's a big enough frame. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to take it outside for a test ride right now because it's like blizzarding out there, and I just don't want to get this dirty. I'm 100% uh, I'm kidding. Of course I'm going to take this out for a little rip. I'm not really dressed for cycling, but i uh, got my shoes on. Got some new dickies. They're a little bit big for me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's jump on this thing. See what it, see what it's all about. It's not gonna be a long ride because it's so cold out right now. Here we go, folks. Maiden voyage. Oh yeah.
Oh man, this thing feels good. Holy smokes, I like this. Definitely very lively like whew. But she holds straight all right. My goodness. Oh, I like it. I may have found the perfect fit of bicycle. This already feels so good. This is awesome. I'm really quite surprised. I honestly thought this would feel too tight, too small for me. But it doesn't. Oh, I like this bike. I'll tell you what. It's fantastic. I am gonna put some miles on this baby. I like it a lot. Now we need a photo op. You cannot take your bike out on a ride and not get a photo of it, right? I say yes to that. Trusty X100. Wow, that is a that is a great bicycle. I like it. Even these tires are just gonna be perfect for winter riding. Tried coasting there for a minute. It's quickly reminded that I can't do that on this thing. Looks like I need to true up my back wheel a little bit. Stoked. So much stoke going on. Oh yeah. Look at that. That is something now. So it's like effortless. This thing just, just moves. Oh, here's a fun part when you're not quite lined up with your rotation. Well, well, well. A-OK. -okay. Well, folks, there you have it. I am super, super pumped with that bike. Um, just uh, there are certain bikes the first time you ride them you just know you can just feel it and there's just something about the bike and honestly as i was building this up i was kind of like oh man this thing's too small but i don't think it is it's definitely smaller than than the the record the raleigh grand prix that we took apart for it but this thing feels so amazing i'm gonna make a couple of tweaks uh, i'm gonna end up getting a surly tug nut for the bottom so i can keep chain tension uh, we already loosened our chain up a bit, especially if you're really hammering on them, uh, they'll get loosened up. I'm not so sure about these bars. These are the Richie Venture Max bars. I might swap them out with some salsa cowbells or something along those lines. The saddle, I need to tweak the saddle position a little bit, but overall it's pretty good. And then I'm going to put a king cage, stainless steel water bottle cage on there, and this thing's just ready to rock and roll. And then obviously the brakes. I need to get some brakes, probably just get some Tektro brakes, um, some long reach calipers. Uh, but I think I'm going to do that. I do think I'm going to want brakes just because, just because. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. This is really exciting for me. I've wanted a steamroller for about 15 years, kind of like a little dream come true. And even the last like month and a half that I was talking with this gentleman to get this bike, I didn't think this would come to fruition. It did. I'm stoked and I can't wait to log some miles. Anyways, I'll keep you posted as things progress with this. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful day and I thank you for watching. Cheers. I need a name for this thing.